Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Tea with Tara. I am in Concord, Massachusetts, at the home of Ralph Waldo Emerson. And I'm going to be doing a lot of vlogging at the homes of famous writers, because there are a lot of famous writers here in Concord. So let me tell you a little about Ralph Waldo Emerson, which I'm sure everybody has heard of. Emerson is one of our country's greatest philosophers, and this is the home where he raised his family. And he wrote many of his essays, poetry, and his lectures in this house. And it is available for tours, of course. Thursday to Saturday, 10 to 4.30, Sunday, 1 to 4.30. But I can't videotape inside the home, so I'm just going to walk around the property and talk a little about Emerson. So the Emersons hosted many important guests like Henry David Thoreau, Margaret Fuller, Elizabeth Peabody, and they were good friends also with the Alcotts, Louisa May Alcott, Bronson Alcott, Louisa's father, and I will be doing Louisa May Alcott's home as well. But he bought, Emerson bought this home in 1835, along with two acres of land. And you could see all of the land back here. Now, I think in, 18, in the 1870s, at some point, the roof of the house was actually destroyed by a fire, um, I think on the second floor. And so many of the neighbors and townspeople actually ran into the house and saved his books. And he lived, Emerson lived here until his death in 1882. There's a trail somewhere in the back of this house, and I'm not sure where. But there is a trail in the back of the property, and it leads to Walden Woods. Emerson, like so many writers, loved to take walks. It was one of the things that people did back in those days. There were no public transportation. We didn't have buses and trains, of course. So walking was one of their a writer's favorite extracurricular activity. Now he lived in this house until 1882, and I think I mentioned that. If not, I'll tell you again. Emerson was uh, very... This, the Emerson house is actually... I toured it once before, and it's actually so amazing inside. So if you get the chance to come to Concord and tour this house, it's definitely, it definitely should be a, on your to-do list. The home is, re, is very much as it was when Emerson lived here, except for his study. Now, the study, all of the contents from the study are now in the Concord Museum. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the Concord Museum right across the street. And the Concord Museum also has Henry David Thoreau's uh, desk that he used to write his famous Walden on. So this is definitely worth the price of admission. I don't know how much they charge. I, was, I haven't been here since 2014, but it's not that expensive and it is so worth it if you love writers, if you love Emerson, if you love Concord, Massachusetts. These are places that you have to go because it's just there's so much history here. And when you walk through the house, it's, it's like Emerson is sitting there hosting you, inviting you in. And I will be doing other vlogs as all, also as for... Um, Louisa May Alcott, and I will be going to Walden Pond, where Thoreau kept his journal and his notes for Walden, a book you might have heard of. It would be awesome to be able to videotape inside the house, but I don't know if they allow it.
but if nobody could videotape inside the house, it's just as well because it's something that you actually have to see in person to appreciate. And again, I've been inside there and it's just so amazing. I've been to Louisa May Alcott's home as well. And it's just a must see. If you're a writer like me, you appreciate the classics, you appreciate these amazing philosophers and writers, and you have to come here. And looking around the property, you can just imagine Emerson walking up and down the street, taking a stroll. And of course, Emerson was good friends with Louisa May Alcott's family, Bronson Alcott, her father. And I believe Louisa May Alcott may even have had a crush on Emerson when she was younger. So you could just imagine all these literary giants getting together in this house and having important philosophical discussions and conversations and if walls could talk, right guys? Okay, so that does it for this very short episode of Tea with Tara. I will be back with a video on Louisa May Alcott and I'm going to try to get permission to do a Tea with Tara inside the Concord Museum so that somebody can narrate who actually knows what they're talking about besides me. Ralph Waldo Emerson.